So for the raster to vector, you display the image that you want to extract data from in your, your mapping window. You georeference it. You then press the edit button and you put it into the facial editor. Uh, you pick an option, create, in this case, uh, vectors from raster, and it pops up the same image processing tools. So we have on the left here the, the tab window, the image pre-processing, and in the monitoring windows, we have a couple of different options, the source image, the pre-process, and the threshold. What we've done with this image is we've applied the uh, pre-processing and we've used the color filter. So you see we have the color filter option there to pick the olive color of those particular lines that we're trying to trace. And then we've selected the option to clear all the non-selected pixels. So in this particular case, the color filter is being used to eliminate everything except for this particular color. There is a tolerance, so you can let it go a little bit to the reds and the yellow side of the, the olive green. That's given us a pre-processed image in which everything's been eliminated except for the olive lines. And that's really worth doing if you have high value polygons. So in this particular case, these polygons are quite complex. They have, they have a very difficult boundary for digitizing manually. So it's well worth the effort of running through the raster to vector conversion to do that.